Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India are discussing a very very interesting topic that is the how the negotiation and the leadership are important. Now you see in most of the leadership positions so you have to uh, do the negotiation and uh, negotiation may be with the internal uh, stakeholders, may be with the external stakeholders and therefore uh, in that case uh, uh, this is becoming uh, uh, the very very important function of the leader also and the leader has to see that is the negotiation is done in a such a way so that uh, it is a win-win situation is there. So, in the we will talk about the negotiation, negotiation process and it is a plan, negotiations, postponement, uh, agreement or no agreement, uh, negotiation styles, negotiation tips uh, for the leaders, uh, research papers, case study, book recommendation and references are there. So, therefore, uh, in, in that case uh, we will be having this uh, all understanding about the uh, role of uh, uh, negotiator of a leader, right. So, first is the negotiation. So, have something the other wants and attempt to come to an agreement uh, and uh, therefore, in that case there are the two or more parties are there right. Can there be the, uh, the single person can have the uh, negotiation? Yes, there can be the that is called intrapersonal role and whenever there is an intrapersonal role and there can be the negotiations also. And in the intrapersonal role for example, uh, uh, role of a son uh, as a role of a son and as a role of a uh, husband right. So, if a person has to negotiate uh, these two roles, so then we will say that it is the intrapersonal negotiation. There will be the interpersonal negotiation also. So, that is a negotiation between the uh, uh, two uh, uh, two uh, roles are there, right? Uh, two or more uh, parties are there in the interpersonal uh, negotiation is there, right? So uh, uh, always it is the process. The some the some uh, one role, right? That uh, wants an attempt to come to an agreement. So one role wants to negotiate with another role, and th there has to be an agreement is required. Ultimately, um, the negotiation has to end into an agreement. We negotiate to secure a more favorable outcome, right? So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, everybody wants to gain more, right? And so, negotiating is an essential career skill, essential career skill. And uh, I would like to share with you that is the uh, our alumni, right? Is the those who have passed out uh, the MBA and joined the organizations, uh, students. Uh, whenever they uh, meet me, so they always share that is this, uh, this, this uh, negotiation is a very, very important uh, topic uh, because the as soon as uh, we join the organization and organization gives us to make the presentations to the clients, the proposals and then the pro clients uh, has to reach to an agreement and that is our responsibility. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is becoming the good negotiators get more favorable outcomes such as more pay. So, who are the good negotiators? Uh, so, they are winning. So, that, that particular skill of their negotiation that is creating them more opportunities in the career growth. Negotiation is a fact of life. People negotiate daily often without considering it a negotiation. So, we, that is the our in routine life also we are having these type of the practices and, uh, and therefore, in that case always we talk about it is the um, to go or not to go, to do or not to do, to take risk not to take risk. So, uh, whenever we are into the dilemma, so whenever there is a dilemma there are the two issues are there and then we have to negotiate with one and uh, that is why. So, that time we are not uh, knowing theoretically that we are negotiating ourselves right as I have given the example of the uh, intrapersonal role. So, but every day, every day we are negotiating 
either intrapersonal or the interpersonal is there. Negotiation occurs in organizations including businesses, non-profits and the within and between governments as well as in sales and legal proceedings and in personal situations such as the marriage, divorce, parenting etc. also. Professional negotiators are often specialized such as union negotiator, leverage, buyout negotiator, peace negotiator. So, they have for these professional negotiations also no? and they, they are having the high scope and as a result of which uh, the, the scope of uh, this negotiation and negotiator that is becoming the more uh, demanding nowadays. Any method of negotiation may be judged by three criteria should produce the wise agreement if it is possible and um, uh, yes it is written if because the every negotiation may not reach to an agreement. You know? So, negotiation fails also, but uh, uh, the purpose the objective is that it should reach to an agreement should be efficient right. So, that is the uh, you can count on it and should improve or at least not damage the relationship between the parties. This is another very very important point is there. I remember when I was the HR executive in the uh, first in the Okum Chan Mill, then Shiram Group and then JK Files. Uh, so, then I have realized that is whenever you are negotiating, no? Uh, so, ultimately what happens during negotiation? There will be the um, conflicts, but that negotiation has to an, an end, right? So, an agreement will be there. Uh, sometimes it is more stretchable, sometimes it is less. So, uh, it, but one day that has to be there. However, whatever type of these expenses you are having during negotiation, positive or negative, but that will end. And after that, the routine life starts. When routine life starts, again you are with your own people. So, in that case, that is the we have to ensure that these are the people, these are the employees, those with whom we have to again work maybe today maybe tomorrow hmm? as soon as negotiation will be over then we have to work uh, with these people only. So, uh, we, we should not uh, spoil the relationship or uh, damage the relationship uh, uh, with the parties because till we will be working in the organization. Uh, they will be the part of our organization, we are also the part of our organization and therefore, a team effectiveness will be there whenever we are having the this uh, relationship uh, uh, with the parties and we do not damage the relationship with, uh, with the parties is there. So, uh, there will be the negotiation process, so we will be having the plan, uh, research the other party and uh, therefore, in that case first we, we should know about the other party, details of the other party. Hmm? Then the set objectives, what are the different objectives are there, uh, how we will go proceed for this negotiation, try to develop the options and trade offs. This is, this is the beauty, beauty are the I will say the soul of the uh, negotiation process. That is the how much you are able to make the uh, options and the trade offs. An effective negotiator will be able to create the maximum options and uh, getting the best trade off will be there and anticipate the questions and objections and prepare the answers right. So, naturally here whatever these uh, uh, queries will be there by the other party, what will be the objections by the other parties and uh, how the answers will be prepared right. So, therefore, in that case you will find that is the whenever we are having the planning for the negotiation, uh, we have to do the research, we have to set the objectives, we have to create the options as much as possible. If we are developing the questions, uh, what will be anticipating the questions, what will be the questions and, and uh, uh, what will be the issues of conflict or here it is mentioned about the objections and accordingly we prepare ourselves. So, if our homework and preparation is uh, uh, satisfactory, then there will be no uh, problems. Develop repo and focus on obstacles not the person right and now what happens actually uh, whenever there is a negotiation. No? So, we focus on the person 
so that is that is very wrong so what is required so we have to develop the repo and the um, uh, uh, actually the task which we are doing the issues which are into the negotiation we have to focus on that simple example i would like to give you that is when we are going to buy uh, a particular uh, item suppose the t-shirts you want to buy you enter the shop and then you ask for a particular uh, um, t-shirt and 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 the person's behavior he is reluctant to show so what mood you will make you will make the mood that is no mm, i will not buy from here because his behavior is not proper shopkeeper's behavior is salesman's behavior is not proper so uh, you spoil the mood and then you do not want to buy but uh, you know, when uh, the you see the t-shirts you see the price you see the quality and then you think that is the no this is the reasonable and i should buy um, many times the people those who are more egoistic because they uh, they have made up their mind on the basis of the behavior of the sales person that i will not buy anything from here uh, right so i will just finish the formality and i will go away uh, but uh, when uh, object is worth buying in spite of that the person is not buying that particular object right so then in that case the person is focusing on the person rather than the object so therefore what is important is that that is the one one should not focus not the person right uh, and otherwise also so if the behavior of the person is very positive now i take the another example if the behavior of the person is very positive and then you find that is the uh, the the price he is asking is too high but because to that person's behavior is positive we should not uh, accept uh, that particular object uh, if that object is not acceptable um uh, Uh, but you are the regular buyer of that particular shop and that's why uh, because of that reason if you are buying that even you knowing that is this is not worth then then the negotiation is not done properly let the other party make the first offer so don't uh, disclose your offer let the other party make the first offer listen and ask questions to focus on meeting the other party's needs so therefore in that case we have to uh, the listen the what other party is saying let him talk let him come forward and then ask the questions right so that we can focus on the other party's needs that what is the need of that particular person or the party don't be too quick to give in and ask for something in return hmm? so uh, therefore in that case that is the not necessarily that is the uh, offer is made and immediately you are saying yes it is too quick so don't be too quick and ask for something in return and therefore in that case uh, it is not that is the you are negotiating without asking something you ask for uh, in return something is there right and this is the era of the return gift itself right so therefore that is also that is they ask for something in return uh other party is postponing and uh, you may create the urgency right so you want to postpone and the other party may create urgency so that that type of the postponement may be situation may be there that is the other party is postponing and, uh, and then uh, you show that is there is an urgency or you want to postpone and the other party may create the urgency is there so negotiation there can be the postponement postponement may be there then when we uh, uh, come over this particular situation there will be the agreement to close the deal or there will be no agreement find out why the for future uh, their negotiations is there right so therefore here uh, this agreement right and no agreement uh, that we have to understand that is the in the clear case uh, uh, after going through this particular whole process there will be the uh, uh, agreement will be there or there will be Uh, no agreement uh, that will be decided that is what will be the future line up action will be there so in planning how we have to do the best planning is there to develop a plan know what is the negotiable and what is not research the other party put yourself in the other party's shoes try to find out what the other parties want so your practical experience that will uh, pay you here right so you are in the experience you know that if i would be in the place of the other party what will be my demand and when i will be happy 
and what they will and will not be willing to give up and where you will not uh, 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 accept the proposal right and what you will not accept before you negotiate find out their personality traits and negotiation style by networking with people who have negotiated with the other party before so have the full information whenever you will have the full information about the personality of the persons and the negotiation style that is the uh, how they proceed what they want how do they negotiate right once you are clear then in that case uh, uh, you will be having that uh, uh, negotiated with the other party uh, that who have negotiated with the other party uh, what were their demand how the negotiation was completed are the there were the obstacles and the negotiation was not completed then why the negotiation was not completed so all this research has to be done then the set objectives follow steps a b and c set a specific lower limit and be willing to walk away right so therefore in that case uh, make the minimum offer and go away set a target objective of what you believe is a fair deal and therefore in that case whatever the uh, belief is there that is the, the this this much i will be accepting so that will be the fair deal and set an opening objective offer that is higher than you expect so whatever you are expecting right so then in that case uh, uh, definitely there will be the offer is because what is done you have started with the lowest limit so other person it will be started with the highest limit is there which is natural in step 3 try to develop the options and trade offs if you have other offers it is common practice to quote other offers and to ask if the other party can beat them so naturally you would like to say who is who can give the best if you have to give up something or cannot get exactly what you want be prepared to ask for something else in return so suppose uh, uh, in negotiation if you are not able to get the a right then you can opt for that is the okay i will get the b but uh, in return what i will get is it the also the c will be there helpful right so that is the additional negotiation will be there anticipate questions and objections and the prepare answers so whenever you are prepare the uh, pep, uh, when uh, preparation is there for the your uh, negotiation what is in for me don't focus on what you want but on how your deal will benefit the other party so it is not like that is the you are focusing towards self rather than in negotiation you will focus as on the other that what other will gain that is to be convinced to the other person then the nego negotiation process starts after we have planned we are now ready to negotiate the deal face to face negotiations are generally preferred because you can see the other person's non verbal behavior and better understand the objections is there and therefore this is very interesting non verbal behavior the body language so the smart negotiators uh, they also observe the body language and therefore in that case uh, they they talk about the uh, non verbal behavior also they observe for example uh, the hand movements right and then in hand movements whether the person is in hurry or not in hurry that you uh, there some people they judge and therefore on basis of this non verbal behavior also you can understand the better of, uh, uh, the uh, the demands of the person and better understand the objections of the person that is the why the person will be having these objections develop the rapport and focus on obstacles not the person that i mentioned that is the needs to trust us smile and call the other party by name as you greet them and deciding on how much time to wait until you get down to business depends on the other party's style let the other party make the first offer and this usually gives you the advantage because if the other party offers you more than your target objectives you can uh, you can close the agreement also right so therefore you will be able to understand the the real situation listen and ask questions to focus on meeting the other party's needs create an opportunity for the other party to disclose the reservations and objections when you speak you give out information but when you ask questions and listen you receive information that will help you overcome the other party's objection is there and therefore in that case uh, you will be able to receive the information which you want from the other party's uh, objections are there don't be too quick to give in and ask for something in return so those who ask for more get more be persistent don't just give up right so therefore sometimes what we have offered and the person is not ready so they, they they close the negotiation don't make haste in closing the negotiation 
if our competitive advantage is service and during negotiation we quickly give in for a lower price, we lose all the value in a minute. We want to satisfy the other party without giving up too much during the, during the negotiation. Remember not to go below your minimum objective. If it is realistic, be prepared and uh, walk away. So, therefore, in that case, we will be having that particular uh, situation where we either we can go for negotiation or we can go walk away from the negotiation. Take your time when there does not seem to be any progress, it may be wise to postpone the negotiations. The other part is postponing and you may create urgency. So, the, I will get back to you when we are not getting what we want, we may try to create urgency. I have another job offer pending, uh, when will you let me know if you want to offer me the job. But what if urgency does not apply or does not work and the other party says, I will think about it. You might say that is a good idea, then at least review the major features the other party liked about our proposal deal and ask if it meets their needs are there. Second situation is you want to postpone and the other party may create the urgency. So, do not be hurried by others and do not hurry yourself. If you are not satisfied with the deal or want to uh, shop around, tell the other party you want to think about it. You may also need to check with your manager or someone else which simply uh, may be for advice before you can finalize the deal. If the other party is creating urgency, be sure it really is urgent. In many cases, we can get the same deal at a later date right? and therefore, do not be pursued into making uh, a deal you are not satisfied. So, do not make uh, the haste right? and therefore, before finalizing the deal right, it is the, always a C that is the, what is urgent and what can be done. May regret. So, therefore, if you are making the any deal in the urgency, then you may regret later. If we do not want to postpone, give the other party a specific time that will get back to them. So, therefore, in that case, if you can't wait and uh, you are having the already the demand for your product, then you can say that is okay. Either you decide by this particular date, otherwise say bye bye. In the situation when there is an agreement or not agreement, once the agreement has been made, restate it and put it in writing when appropriate is there. Um, it is common to follow up an agreement with a letter of thanks, restarting the agreement to ensure the other parties have, have not changed their mind and about what they agreed to. So, you are reminding actually thanks for the following uh, agreement. Uh, so, therefore, that agreement uh, the, they should not have any confusion. Uh, many times what happens that is the when uh, after some break uh, when you are going for the agreement the people say no, no that time it was decided not this decided right. So, therefore, it is always better that you have the copy of that and if you do not have the copy, so then please keep in mind what they have agreed to. No agreement, our goal is to come to an agreement, but rejection, refusal or failure happen to us all even the superstars. The difference between the also reigns and the superstars lies in how they respond to the failure. The successful people keep trying, learn from their mistakes and continue to work hard. Failures usually do not persevere, uh, persevere. When there is no agreement, analyze the situation and try to determine what went wrong to improve in the future. So, therefore, in that case, okay, this time we could not negotiate, but we will like to negotiate in the future. So, uh, this is a beautiful uh, un, uh, uh, figure which will be making the easy understanding and their wants and needs and our wants and needs are there. So, I lose you lose, so avoid is there, you win I lose right, so accommodate is there. So, I win you lose compete is there, I win you win collaborator is there and when the I win some, you win some, I lose some, you lose some, so compromise is there. So, therefore, avoid accommodation, compete, collaboration and compromise that can be used in the negotiation styles is there. Uh, it reflects a withdrawal from a neglect of any party's interest. So, therefore, both the parties are in the mode of the losing. So, most often referred to is the passive aggressiveness. We habitually use this style when we really dislike conflict. Rather than talk directly to the others about the issues, we may instead try to take revenge without others knowing is there. To avoid style can be a typical reaction to high compete negotiations. When to use, when the value of investing time to resolve the conflict outweighs the benefit or if the issue under negotiation is uh, trivial to both the parties is there and then in that case there will be the negotiation style will be there. It reflects a desire to achieve one's own ends at the expense of someone else and uh, this is the co competition is there and the I win, you lose. 
Hmm? This approach is there. So, win lose uh, orientation is there. Competitive style negotiations tend to pursue our own needs, hmm? and this is not true even when the result is that others may suffer. Right? So, therefore, in that case, I am not bothered about others, I am concerned with my uh, achievement of the goal. So, I, I win. This kind of negotiation often uses whatsoever power and tactics we have, including the personality, position, economic status, brand strength, our size and market share, then definitely in that case, uh, because the um, I am on the upper hand side. So, therefore, in that case, I will because of my personality or my position right, or my econo uh, economic uh, threats, uh, uh, economic strength and others economic threats are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, that is I win and you lose uh, attitude may be there. When we need to act or uh, get results quickly, this negotiation style can be useful when we buy ourselves something as a one off is there. Third one is that I lose you win, very interesting. It reflects a mirror image of competition entirely giving in to the someone else concern without making an effort to achieve one's own ends and this is a tactics of the appeasement is there. For accommodating style negotiations, the relationship is everything, accommodating profiles between people over and give people what they want. When to use the I lose you win? When we our a company are at fault, repairing the relationship is critical. We can also take this approach when we have nothing else, what would have benefit the other party that is a gift to the rebuild bridges are there. So, therefore, in that case, in this situation, we can make the use of this negotiation style. I lose and win some and you lose win some, right. So, it is an approach that represents a compromise between the domination and the appeasement is there. Both parties give up something, yet both parties get something and the both parties are moderately but incompletely satisfied. So, therefore, in, in that case compromise often involves one or more both settings for less than we want to need. This can result in an posi end position of the roughly halfway between the both uh, sides are opening the positions are there, right. And when, in, when we this uh, approach is to be used, when we are pushed for time and we are dealing with someone who, who we trust, it also needs to be clear what is what it would not be in the other side's interest for them to win a cheap victory. Both sides win and lose make sure we win the right things and lose the right things are there. And finally, I win you win, it reflects an effort to fully satisfy both parties. This is a strategy which is the more sustainable strategy is there. This is a problem solving approach that requires the integration of each party's concern. We often confuse win-win or collaboration with compromise. However, these two styles are distinct from each other. Win-win is about making sure both sides have needs or goals met while creating as much mutual value as time and resources allow. When to use the collaboration and partnerships are the primary styles which we should use for the most goals in business to business negotiations are there. So, they are, there are certain tips for leaders, prepare well for the negotiation that is your plan. So, resolve the conflicts, leader may need to spend considerable time in preparation for the negotiation and the leader should anticipate each side's key concern, both the sides, you know, that were, were, what is uh, their expectation, what they will be like to gain, what they, the, what they will be ready to lose, uh, attitudes, possible negotiation strategies and goals are there. Separate the people from the problem. Uh, always that is always to be done. Negotiations involve substantive issues and relationship between the negotiators. So, it is easy for these parts to become entangled. When that happens, leaders may ined inadvertently tra treat the followers and the problems as though they were the same, which is not to be done. Separate the leader uh, people from the uh, problems are there. Leaders can do several things to separate the people from the problem is that uh, Focus on the interest and not the positions, huh? more constructive to satisfy interest than to fight over the positions. Furthermore, it is important to focus both on your followers interest and on your own interest and not like this that is we are focusing only on the self interest. Say Ram has had the same resources to the local symphony, symphony even season for several years, but he was just notified that he will no longer uh, get the, his usual tickets. Feeling irritated, he goes to the ticket office to complain. One approach he could take would be to demand the same seats he has always had, this would be in his position. Huh? A different approach would be to find alternative seats that are just as satisfactory as his old seats where this would be his interest is there. 
they got a good deal. So, therefore, therefore this belief is required. Huh? So, often a zero sum game in which the one party's gain is the other party's loss. For example, every dollar less that you pay for a car is your gain and the seller's loss, but it does not have to be an I win and you lose negotiation. Leaders should not take advantage of others. It is about the building relationships and helping each other um, get what we want. Because uh, uh, once you can get this particular uh, um, strategy successful, but believe me, it will be a short term strategy, it will not be the long term strategy. To get what we want, we have to sell our ideas and convince the followers to give us what we want. However, negotiation should be viewed by all the parties as an opportunity for everyone to win. And when possible, make the pie larger than the fight over how to split it. Focus on the obstacle and not the person. As I mentioned, it is the always the understand it is what is the issue is there, concern with the issue. So, that the, the uh, negotiator, if he, he is having that uh, follower is becoming dis defensive, we may end up uh, arguing and it will be harder to reach an agreement is there. So, therefore, do not don't, uh, be arg argumentative in this uh, your negotiation rather than the focus on the issues rather than the person is concerned. These are the research papers, model for effective negotiation skill development. This paper is to develop an initial model from an intra-organizational perspective is there. Development of negotiation skill and behavior. As usual, there is this uh, design and methodology approach and the findings are there, right. These are the original values and practical implications. Uh, uh, this is the case study. Indian labor unions are there and therefore, changes in state and the national labor laws and private sector jobs are there. So, therefore, in that case always leave labor union negotiation has their own plus and minuses. On the position that negotiating is a collective, unionized workers are able to earn on average roughly 15 percent more than their non-union counterparts are there. Right? So, therefore, always uh, if there is an union then there will be the more gain will be there. Uh, public sector unions at times have been able to negotiate employment arrangement that are hard to sustain and therefore, in that case uh, many times the, the public union uh, uh, state unions they are facing the problem in the completion of the negotiation is there. These are the questions on this particular case study. This is negotiating in the leadership zone, right. So, this is the uh, book which is recommended and it, it uh, helps you to make understand how to be a good negotiator. And uh, this is uh, all about this uh, negotiation and leadership. Thank you.